Hi guys! Long time no see! Yes! Alam niyo naman, medyo naging busy ang mga teachers ngayon dahil sa pagbubukas ng ating school year 2020-2021. Okay, medyo maraming ginawa ang mga teachers nyo. Naganda ng mga modules, nagprint ng modules, nagprepare para sa distribution ng modules, at paghanda para sa mga online classes. Oh okay? yeah! By the way, happy Teachers Day po sa lahat po ng teachers dyan! Sa lahat po ng teachers natin sa buong Pilipinas, sa buong mundo, Happy Teachers Day po. Especially po sa aking mga naging teachers from elementary, high school, college, sa mga naging professors ko po sa PLM at PNU, Happy Teachers Day po. Mabuhay po kayong lahat, mabuhay po tayong lahat. Okay. So, nandito naman po tayo ngayon para ituloy ang ating nasimulan. Alam niyo naman, hindi ko kayo iiwan. Pabalik at pabalik ako para sa inyo. Oh! Easy, easy, easy naman. Okay. So, ano bang ang naiwan nating topic? Ang naiwan natin ng topic ngayon ay about sa, sa, sa loss of exponent. So, I think it's time for us to review. Ituloy natin itong pag-review na to at kailangan na kailangan natin ito dahil sa magbubukas ng ating school year. Alam ko, Ibang mga sudyante natin dyan, medyo nasa ano pa yan eh, nasa, nasa, alam nyo yung, nag-uwa pa pa, painitin eh, no, painitin. Kailangan mo nang maraming review para makabalik dun sa, sa tamang landas eh. So, ito tayo ngayon, para i-review ang lahat ng dapat i-review, i-discuss ang dapat i-discuss, at matutunan ang dapat matutunan. Again, Welcome to Matuto Vlog. Loss of Exponents So, syempre, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating next Loss of Exponent I-review muna natin yung ating previous Loss of Exponents na na-discuss na natin Okay? Starting with Law Number 1 Law Number 1 is The Product of Powers So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng Product of Powers? We have a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n. It is equivalent to a raised to the power of m plus n. So meaning, kapag kaganito yung ating problem, magkabunga siya ng base and ang operation niya ay multiplication. All we have to do dun sa ating exponents is we are just going to add the exponents. Okay, i-add lang natin yung exponents. Basta, magkamukha ng base at ang operation niya ay multiplication. Okay? Yan! Next naman ay yung ating law number 2 which is the quotient of powers. So, ano naman ba ang ating quotient of powers? Ito naman ay a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n It is equivalent to a raised to the power of m minus n. Ayan. Kapag magkamukha ng base at ang ating operation na ay division, ang gagawin naman sa exponents ay ima minus or isusubtract. So, yung ating exponent sa taas, siya ang magiging linuent at yung ating exponent sa baba, siya ang ating magiging subtrahin. Okay? So, subtraction naman kapag ka quotient of powers. Alright? Now, since na-review na natin yung ating law number 1 and law number 2, we can now proceed on our third law, and that is the power of a power. Ano naman ba ang power of a power? So, we have a to the m power raised to the power of n. Yan. So, meaning, meron tayong exponent 
sa loob ng parenthesis o ng grouping symbol at meron din tayong exponent sa labas ng parenthesis o ng grouping symbol. Anong gagawin kapag ganyan yung ating given? All we have to do is to multiply the exponent outside the parenthesis to the exponent inside the parenthesis. Okay? Imumultiply lang natin yung dalawang exponent. Okay? Again, kapag ka may exponent sa loob ng parenthesis at sa may labas ng parenthesis, ang gagawin lang natin ay imumultiply natin yung dalawang exponent. Okay? Let us have an example. Example number one. I have x squared raised to the power of 3. Ayan. So, ang ating exponent sa loob ng grouping symbol or ng parenthesis ay 2 at yung ating exponent sa labas ng parenthesis ay 3. So, all we have to do is to multiply 3 to 2. So, we will have x raised to the power of 2 times 3. Okay? So, simplifying this, we will have x raised to the power of 2 times 3, we will have x raised to the power of 6. Very easy. Another example. Example number 2, I have 2 cubed raised to the power of 3. So, meron tayong exponent sa loob ng parenthesis which is 3 at meron din tayong exponent sa labas ng parenthesis which is also number 3. So, again, imumultiply lang natin yung dalawang exponent. So, we will have 2 raised to the power of 3 times 3. So, simplifying this, we will have 2 raised to the power of 3 times 3, we will have 2 raised to the power of 9. And simplifying 2 raised to the power of 9, we will have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 <sighs> Wait lang. Dami. Times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Yes. Sham na 2. Minultiply. And that is equivalent to 512. So that means 2 raised to the power of 9 is equivalent to 512. 112. Okay? Very easy. Next, law number 4 is the power of a product. Ano naman ang power of a product? We have A, B, C raised to the power of m meaning meron tayong terms or variables sa loob ng parenthesis o ng grouping symbol at meron din tayong exponent sa labas niyan ano ang gagawin kapag ganito ang ating given ang gagawin naman natin dito ay i-distribute natin yung ating exponent from outside the parenthesis doon sa mga variable or term sa loob ng parenthesis. So, si M ay bibigay natin kay A. So, we will have A raised to the power of M. Si M ay bibigay natin kay B. So, we will have B raised to the power of M. At si M ay ibibigay natin kay C. Magkakaroon naman tayo ng C to the power of N. Okay? Again, Dinistribute lang natin yung exponent outside the parenthesis doon sa loob o sa mga terms or variable inside the parenthesis. Okay? Let us have an example. Example number one, I have x, y, z raised to the power of 3. Again, we will distribute the exponent outside the parenthesis. So, we will have 3, bigay natin kay x, magkakaroon tayo ng x cube. Si 3, bigay natin kay y, magkakaroon tayo ng y cube. 
at C3, bigay natin kay Z, magkakaroon naman tayo ng Z cube. So that means the final answer is X cube, Y cube, Z cube. Okay? Example number 2. I have 2x squared raised to the power of 3. Ayan, ano naman ang gagawin natin dyan? So, syempre, i-distribute natin yung exponent sa labas doon sa mga terms or variables inside the parentheses. Okay? So, si 3, bibigay natin k2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 raised to the power of 3. At si 3, distribute natin kay x squared. So, ito naman, application or combination na to ng law number 3 and law number 4. Since si x squared ay may exponent na 2, at i-distribute naman natin yung exponent sa labas, sa loob ng parenthesis, ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin yung exponent na 3 dun sa exponent na 2 na nakay x. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng x raised to the power of 2 times 3. Now, simplifying this, we will have 2 raised to the power of 3 times x raised to the power of 2 times 3. Simplify muna natin yung 2 raised to the power of 3 or 2 cubed. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times 2 times 2. And then, simplify naman natin yung x raised to the power of 2 times 3. So, syempre, multiply natin yun, 2 times 3. Magkakaroon naman tayo ng x raised to the power of 6. So, that means, the final answer is 8x raised to the power of 6. Okay? Sige, intindihan. Okay. Next is the law number 5, which is the power of a quotient. Ano naman ba ang power of a quotient? We have A over B raised to the power of M. Ayan. Pagkaganyan, same concept lang tayo ng law number 4. Which means, yung ating exponent outside the parenthesis, i-distribute natin siya dun sa mga terms or variables inside the parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin, si M, bibigay natin kay A. So, we will be having A raised to the power of M. At si M, bibigay din natin kay B. So, magkakaroon naman tayo ng B raised to the power of M. So, that means we have A raised to the power of M all over B raised to the power of M. Now, let us have an example. Example number 1, I have X over Y raised to the power of M. So, didistribute natin yung ating exponent outside the parenthesis doon sa ating mga term or variables inside the parenthesis. So, si 2 bigay natin kay x, si 2 bigay natin kay y. That means, our final answer is x squared all over y squared. Example number 2. I have 2x all over y cubed raised to the power of 4. So, distribute natin yung 4 kay 2. Magkakaroon tayo ng 2 raised to the power of 4. Si 4, bigay natin kay x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x raised to the power of 4. At si 4, bigay natin kay y. Magkakaroon naman tayo ng y raised to the power of 3 times 4. Since, merong exponent si y. Okay? So, i-multiply natin yung exponent na yan. Doon sa exponent sa labas. So, simplifying this, we will have So, 2 raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 4 all over y raised to the power of 3 times 4. So, simplify muna natin yung ating nasa taas, yung ating numerator. So, we will have yung 2 raised to the power of 4. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is equivalent to 16. So, that means ang ating numerator ay 16x raised to the power of 4 and simplifying our denominator y 
raised to the power of 3 times 4, that is 3 times 4, that is 12. So that means y raised to the power of 12. Okay? So this is our final answer. 16x raised to the power of 4 all over y raised to the power of 12. Okay? Now, you try. It's time for you to try. Okay, we have x y squared raised to the power of 3. Sige, isipin mabuti. What is the final answer? Okay, distribute. Distribute and multiply. Okay, very good. The final answer is x cubed y raised to the power of 6. Okay, next. I have 3x squared y squared raised to the power of 2. What is the final answer? Sige, isipin. Distribute. 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 And the final answer. Okay, that is 9 x raised to the power of 4, y raised to the power of 4. Very good. Another. I have 5x cubed all over 3y raised to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2. What is the final answer? Distribute. Distribute. Distribute and distribute. Final answer? Okay. That is 25x raised to the power of 6 all over 9y raised to the power of 10. Very good. Now, I want to end our Matuto lesson on this Matuto code, and that is, Opportunities multiply as they are seized by Colin Wilson. So what does it mean? So, syempre, pag may nagbukas na opportunity sa atin, yakapin ka agad natin to, i-appreciate natin ka agad to, baga isis natin yung moment na yan. And from that opportunity, tandaan nyo, may magbubukas pa na other opportunities. Okay, basta maging open lang tayo sa lahat ng mga possibility and we stay positive. Dahil pag ikaw ay positive, tandaan nyo, lahat mag-open yan para sa inyo. Okay? And that's it! Yan ang loss of exponent 3, 4, and 5. By the way, sa mga hindi pa nagsusubscribe dyan, pakiclick na po yung subscribe button, i-like and share mo na rin sa iba, at at the same time, pakiclick na rin po yung notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga videos. Okay? Again, happy Teacher's Day po sa lahat ng mga teachers po dyan. Ituloy lang po natin yung ating pag-servisyo para sa ating bayan at higit sa lahat para po sa ating mga kabataan. At sa ating mga kabataan naman dyan, no, sa mga sudyante, sa mga mag-aaral, gising-gising din na, aral-aral na pag may time, pasukan na, siguro naman, sapat na yung baksyon na yon para ituloy na natin itong pag-aaral. Again, hindi hadlang itong pandemyang ito para itigil natin yung pag-aaral natin. Okay? Gawin natin itong determination, gawin natin itong motivation para matapos at may raos natin yung ating school year 2020-2021. Okay? Again, this is your Sir Emil, and see you in our next videos. Ciao!